Fox 66 News is your local election headquarters. Election junkies got their fix tonight in Harbor Creek Township as a political science expert shares insight on gerrymandering. And with a major election on the horizon, opening a dialogue on gerrymandering proves insight on its impact in the U.S. politics. Matt Mathias has more from our studio tonight. Matt. Well, Jen, the gerrymandering discussions are part of the Jefferson Educational Society's satellite program, where, th where throughout the upcoming week, several election-based lectures will be held. Legislative district lines can be redrawn every 10 years, coinciding with the U.S. Census. This opens up the door to the threat of gerrymandering, which is the redrawing of district lines to favor a political party's election odds. The 10 states have switched, and they now, they now have bipartisan or nonpartisan commissions create their districts, and they also have more competitive congressional elections as a result of that. But the other 40 states, including Pennsylvania, still rely on state legislatures uh, to draw legislative districts, and they tend state legislatures tend to draw districts that favor the whatever the particular party is in power. Some of these districts can look pretty bizarre as you see here and clearly work to group certain populations together. Historically, gerrymandering has been around for over 200 years and has been motivated by race and political affiliation to get an edge in other districts. Here in Pennsylvania, lawmakers reached a deadlock when redrawing the districts after the 2020 census, each side claiming gerrymandering. So the Supreme Court intervened and created the lines. So right now, if you look at a map, Pennsylvania's congressional districts are not gerrymandered. Uh, but that was because of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court intervention. It can, the gerrymanders can come back next decade if we don't do anything about it. So what's the solution if it's been done for 200 years? Dr. Spiel says the use of nonpartisan commissions is a real option, and in states where it's utilized, it's been fair and has worked well. Pennsylvania has actually done that for its state legislative districts, not for congressional districts, but for state legislative districts, they're drawn in a kind of bipartisan way, and it's probably a better way to do things, but you have to convince, of course, the General Assembly in Harrisburg to give up their power uh, to do that and to switch, but it can be done. And Dr. Spiel says gerrymandering has gotten much worse due to the rise of technology. And he anticipates that trend to continue in 2030 thanks to AI. Jen. Matt Mathias in our studio. Thank you, Matt.